Word includes a feature known as click and type. This feature means that when you are working in your document, you can double click and begin typing right away. In this video, you discover how to control and use this feature. Normally, you begin typing at the left side of the screen. If you later want to adjust your text to the right margin or to center it on the screen, you do so by using the tools on the Home tab of the ribbon. Click and Type, however, allows you to quickly format and enter text at the same time. The result is faster editing and formatting. You can tell if Click and Type is active by how the mouse pointer behaves on screen. If the mouse pointer, when moving within the document window, looks like a simple I-beam insertion point, click and type is not turned on. If instead, as you move that mouse pointer, you see some horizontal lines surrounding that I-beam insertion point, then click and type is available and can be used. Now I'll talk about the significance of those horizontal lines in a moment, so don't forget this behavior. First though, if you cannot see the horizontal lines, it could be because you are not using the correct view of your document. Click and type works only if you are viewing your document in print layout view or in web layout view. If you are in one of those views and you still cannot see any horizontal lines, then it could be that click and type has been turned off on your system. You can control whether it is on or off by displaying the Word Options dialog box. We click on File, then we click on Options all the way down at the bottom, and that displays the Word Options dialog box. We want to click Advanced at the left side of the screen, and then within the Editing Options group here, we want to make sure that this option right down here, Enable Click and Type, that it is selected. This is what turns Click and Type on and off. Now note that if click and type is turned on, like it is on the screen here, you can specify the style that you want to use for any of the paragraphs created using the feature. Normally, when you enter a paragraph using click and type, the paragraph is essentially formatted using the normal style. In fact, you can see that the normal style is selected here. Granted, the basic formatting of the style has some changes, which we'll talk about in a moment, but it is nonetheless the normal style. You can change this to any other style that you would like. When you're done making your changes, all you have to do is go ahead and click on OK to accept them, and you're back to your document. Now, let's get back to how you actually use click and type. Remember earlier that I mentioned some horizontal lines visible near the mouse pointer? Well, those lines have some very specific meanings. I want to zoom in quite a bit here so that you can see what those horizontal lines look like. Now watch what happens as I move this mouse pointer towards the right side of the screen. The first horizontal lines that you see have a little arrow at the top of them, meaning that it's pointing inward. What that means is, is that if I double click here, I'm going to create a paragraph that has the first line indented. If I move this insertion point a little bit further to the right, notice that that indentation arrow disappears. And if I double click here, it means that I'm going to create a left justified paragraph. Watch what happens when I move it further towards the right. You can see that those horizontal lines go underneath the mouse pointer. This means that if I double click here, I'm going to have a centered paragraph that I can start typing into. And if I move this further to the right, you can see that, again, we're at left justified, and if I move it far enough, then all of a sudden, I have a right justified paragraph because those horizontal lines jumped over to the other side of that uh, I-beam insertion point. And all I would have to do is double click and I can start to type any of those types of paragraphs within my document. Now let me zoom back out a little bit here so that you can see what's going on uh, within the document as a whole. Remember that to start using click and type, all you need to do is to 
move the mouse pointer until you see the horizontal lines that you want and then you just double click. I will double click right here and notice that that paragraph jumps right to the middle because that's what the horizontal line showed. And now I can start typing here. Now I'm gonna press Control Z to undo that change because I wanna show you another important facet of using click and type. I'm gonna just go ahead and put some uh, random text in this document here. And you'll note that if I move the mouse pointer left to right, we don't get any horizontal lines at all. This tells you that click and type does not work when you're moving that mouse pointer over existing text within your document. It has to be over a blank space where there is no text before you can see those horizontal lines. The other thing to remember with this is that if I move further down the page here, I'm not immediately to the right of an existing a paragraph. If I double click, let's say down here, that I want a centered paragraph, then what will happen is that Word inserts enough new paragraphs, it's like pressing enter multiple times, Word inserts enough of those that it moves down to where I actually double clicked and I can start to type. For some people, and for some types of writing, click and type can be a real time saver. If you don't think you'll ever use click and type, then remember that you can turn it off as discussed earlier in this video. I hope that you enjoyed learning about the click and type feature. If so, click the subscribe button just below this video as well as the bell icon. That way you can be informed by YouTube whenever I add new videos to the WordTips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.